My grandfather used to say, you don't attack the man, you attack the system. He dedicated his life for Puerto Rico and spent 29 years in prison because he believed in a future where Puerto Rico didn't have to live off colonial scraps. He dreamed and fought for a future where Puerto Ricans everywhere would be free. When the bullets rained down on the Blair House on November 1st, that was the beginning of an uprising that led to the attack on Congress led by Lolita Lebron and the PR nationalists. Woo! And simultaneously on the island, there was a revolt in a small town of Jayuya led by none other than Blanca Canales. And we are here today to honor the leaders who have passed and the leaders who are yet to come. From Albizo to the Young Lords, all the way to the Ricky Renuncia, we say basta ya y viva Puerto Rico Libre. Viva! And in this heart of mine, there's a great sadness and pain when I look at the history of our island and our people and our communities here in the Imperial Corps. Not everyone knows the colonial history of, Puerto of the U.S. in Puerto Rico and the horror they brought to our country. Like the banning of the flag in the 1950s, like keeping us poor through the Jones Act, sterilizing our ancestors through La Laparacion, turning the island of Yenkes into a military testing ground, sending millions of us into wars that meant nothing to us, like Korea, Vietnam, and Iraq. Like managing the island through La Junta, and like allowing so much damage, so much loss to Jorge Maria. So there's hope. Because today, right now, we're proving that we are a strong and united people, that we are fighters, that we're family, that we're a very dignified people, humble but prideful, and our spirit is revolutionary. Woo! Woo! What do we do? We demand liberation. We demand dignity. We demand justice. We demand to control our own destiny, and we demand independence now, carajo. That's right! <laughs> Because there are millions of people out there right now, here and across the globe, that share the same oppressor. It's the same oppressor that puts black people in the prisons and takes their lives in broad daylight. It's the same oppressor that denies migrants hospitality while forcing them into camps. It's the same oppressor that sells weapons, that attacks Palestinians and Yemenis. It's the same oppressor that dropped bombs and toppled democratic governments in Latin America, Africa, Asia, and Eastern Europe. It's the same oppressor that keeps you poor forcing you to work for scraps where the mice and rats live as millionaires and the people do not live at all. To build this liberation struggle, we need to be organized. Millions of people across the globe are realizing, are organizing as we speak. They're recognizing who their oppressor is and now it's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a lot of organizations here today, such as Party for Social and Liberation and Socialist Alternative. It's the, your goal is to find a political organization that demands for the liberation of oppressed peoples everywhere and start building. And if your heart trembles against injustice like mine does, I'll fight right beside you, whatever it costs. Thank you. Que viva Puerto Rico Libre! I feel good being here. My name's Juan Gonzalez. Um, and I tell you, I travel the country speaking in different universities, different locations, but it's nothing like being home Woo. with your own people. I don't have nothing special to share, but other than my story is the typical story you hear in the Puerto Rican community. I was incarcerated at the age of 16, right down Tiffin, Indiana. And I spent 31 and a half years in prison. And um, I never gave up. I never gave up. They sentenced me to life, 10 to 20, and 20 to 40. And they told me I was gonna die in prison. But I ain't believe that shit. Oh, that's fine, that's yeah, fine. I ain't believe them. I ain't believe them because I come from a background where my great, great aunt Blanca Canales. Woo! Um, I grew up with the young laws. I grew up in that environment, so I was always socially conscious. I never gave up. 500 other juvenile lifers managed to get out under this new law where you can't sentence a kid to prison for life. But I ain't do it by myself. I'm home because people like y'all stood behind my campaign and got me home. I'm home because the people of Philadelphia demanded that the district attorney's office release me. And that's why I'm home. That's why I'm here today. <laughs> Believe it or not, there's a whole lot of innocent people in prison I could go down the list. You know, a lot of us do time 
because we are poor and Latinos coming from North Philadelphia. So when we say Black Lives Matter, I stand with you. Latino lives matter too. Yeah. Brown lives, yeah. Mexican lives, Dominicans. Like I said, I've been, I've been to a whole lot of prison in the state system and the federal system. And I know people personally that don't belong in jail, that their only crime is the color of their skin. You know, because so a lot of these people we see in the street, they don't want to be in the street. They just don't have no other option. You know, I'm telling you, I've been home a little over two years now. And there's been time when it was easier for me to go back to the corner and hustle than to go get a job. And I graduated from the University of Villanova. So I got a degree and I still can't get a job because they're saying you got a felony. Because when I went in, I told the system, you would never, ever break me. Ever. Ever. My mother died when I was in prison and I never shed a tear. Because I did not want the prison system to see me cry. Because crying in prison is a sign of you breaking. I never let them saw me break. And I was hurting. And I told them you would never see that from me. Because it's, it's in my blood. It's in my blood. When you cut me open, you're going to see I beat some Campo, Lolita, and everybody else's blood. I come from that background. I come from that background. So today I'm out here in the community, you know, trying to get my people together and let them know, man, don't give up. Just because somebody tells you something, they don't tell your narrative, you tell it. And let's do this. Let's do this, man. This is our community. This is our culture, we gotta maintain it. Thank you.